Hi guys, Charlie with Boxing Focus. There's a couple of fights that um, interest me quite a lot this weekend, occurring on the undercard of the Pascal Kovalev fight. So you've got um, Isaac Chalemba, who's recently only really lost to Tony Bellew. He's taken on an unbeaten prospect who's stepping up. Um, let me get see if I can get this name right. So this is Vasily Lepikin. Um, and and Lepkin looks good. He's a, he's tall. He looks strong. He looks like a pretty sizable light heavyweight. But he also, considering his height, he doesn't really box that long either. He kind of stands his ground. So it's going to be interesting to see how he deals with the um, the movement of, of Chalamba, who gave Tony Bellew a lot of problems in their first fight. Um, but saying that, he didn't really show up in the second fight. But this is a definite step up for Lepikin, so it, with it, I haven't really seen that much footage on him, and I haven't really seen that much of Chalemba. So, I, I mean, just instinctively, I think probably probably uh, Lepikin's going to take it, just just, just based on um, just how strong and big he looked. Uh, but, um, again, I mean, that, that, that's a, a bit of a guess, really. The the other fight that I'm quite interested in is uh, Steve Cunningham, who's fighting Glaskov um, on the co-main event, I believe, of the Pascal Kovalev undercard. Glaskov again is is making a step up with Cunningham. Cunningham is, I mean, he's just one of these fighters. He's in a lot of entertaining fights, a lot of hard, grueling fights. Um, he's 38 years old though, Steve Cunningham. And he can't keep on being in these these hard, hard fights where he keeps on being knocked down and tasting the canvas. I mean, he's he's suffered six losses now. Um, he, he fought an absolute monster and managed to uh, force a, a retirement in um, in his last fight. Is it Natu Vicinia? Uh, that was a very, very entertaining fight. Um, of course, the fight with Amir Mansur before that, very entertaining, tough fight. Cunningham was down heavily in that fight. Um, so he was down in both of those fights, in fact. Um, then he beat somebody who I, I have no idea who they are. Um, then he obviously was knocked out by Tyson Fury. And then the split decision lost to Thomas Adamek. I mean, he's, he's really, really been fighting a lot of tough opponents uh, and it's tough to see that he can keep it going but he, he always turns up in good shape and he always puts in a lot of heart but eventually Father Time's going to catch him and I've got a feeling that it may be in this fight so even though I don't really know much about Glaskov, his opponent um, I mean, again, he's unbeaten but not against the highest calibre of opposition this is a big step up he, he did, does have a win over Adamek um, Though that was a heavyweight, whereas I think uh, Cunningham lost to Adam. Was it cruiserweight? If I'm not mistaken, but we'll see. Oh, he's got a draw with Malik Scott as well. So he's, he, he's fought a few good fighters, but this will be a stern test. But again, guessing, if I had to guess, I'd say that probably the Glasgow's going to take this one as well, just just based on, that, on um, how much punishment Cunningham's taken recently. So yeah, I'm going to go for both the unbeaten prospects to maintain it that way though. <laughs> to be honest, it wouldn't surprise me if, if uh, Chalamba uh, managed to sneak a, a decision. And it wouldn't surprise me if Cunningham managed to, to um, put in one last great performance. Because he, he's, he's beaten two unbeaten prospects. I say prospects, I mean, <laughs> as if I'm a pro Mansur was a prospect, he's quite old. But he's, yeah, he's handed two fighters their first defeats in his previous two fights uh, and climbed off the canvas both times to do it. So he, will, he may have one last hurrah in him, but I, he just, I just don't feel that Cunningham should be fighting at heavyweight. I just don't. But that's, yeah, that's my opinion. One, one, uh, one solitary opinion on the internet doesn't really mean too much. This is Charlie with Boxing Focus. Look, looking forward to seeing uh, what, what Glaskov and Lepikin are made of.